It's been all these clown inspired beers because traveling and you know running around the world for 40 years allowed me to meet some of the most interesting people on the planet who you know chose a lifestyle as opposed to choosing a career and the stories that i can tell about those individuals are phenomenal and fantastic so uh one of the catchphrases for the brewery is inspired by clowns enjoyed by all so there's a whole stream of beers that are in that series so for example I have a friend from New Zealand named Tony Smith who performs as Mini Maniac and she's a hula hoop artist and circus artist and she would inevitably randomly show up to our property because she was touring through Canada and became part of the family in essence. And she'd finish a show and she'd always rehydrate with coconut water. She's got a beautiful bubbly personality, happens to be blonde. So I decided to make a blonde ale that was infused with coconut because of all the things that she had inspired. And then made sure to use uh, hops from New Zealand to pay tribute to the fact that she's originally from Christchurch, New Zealand. So the story behind the beer and its creation is very much linked and tied to the performer who inspired it. Uh, and because it's a Pacific Gem and Rakawa hops are New Zealand hops, I'm not growing those on the property. So I do need to source hops for that beer from an outside source. But it's very specifically chosen to represent the person that is being inspired or was the inspiration behind the beer.